Haircut Nation. Hey everybody, Michael Went, Airgun Nation here. On a ridiculously hot and humid Texas day. Oh, that breeze feels good. If you hear a little droning noise in the background, it's probably from my little battery powered fan here, blowing right on my chest to try to keep me from passing out. Today, we're gonna do a little miniature review of the brand new Brocock Atomic XR. Air Guns of Arizona sent this to me, and uh, they also sent one to Steve over at Air Gun Exploration and Advancement Channel. Steve is in the process of doing a complete uh, tuning guide and full review for you, and uh, I'm just gonna do a little share and compare, see if we get the same results. Well, let's get past the obvious here. This is made by Brocock in England. From my understanding, it was originally designed as a field target pistol. Um, and Brocock had some type of trouble getting a pistol license in the UK, so they slapped a uh, mil spec rail on the back and they're selling it as a carbine in the UK. However, when it gets over to the United States, Air Guns of Arizona can put this fancy little adapter on the back here, remove the buttstock obviously, and you can adjust your hammer spring and thus converting it into a pistol. Um, it is very light, I think it's about four pounds, a uh, really great handler, it has a really small air cylinder of only 45 cc's. Um, it does have a Huma regulator in the air tube, and uh, it is, well, it's advertised as a 4 foot pound to 20 foot pound air gun. Um, <clears throat> I did a bit of testing, and I found this sweetest spot for me was with the JSB 15.9 grain pellets. Um, I was able to squeeze out 30 shots at uh, about 700 feet per second for an average of 700, or let's see, an average of, what the hell is that? Oh, 17 and a half foot pounds of energy. Uh, nice little chart right there. Uh, I did try the 18 grain pellets and I just couldn't squeeze out enough energy for them to stabilize, I think. Uh, Steve was able to do that, but uh, my, my air gun just wasn't happy doing that. Um, it shot the 14.3 grains pretty good, but uh, I have very limited stock on that, and um, I decided to shoot the 15.9 grain Hades and the 15.9 grain Jumbo Diabolo Exacts. Uh, got the best results both over the crony string and on paper with those and they have the same point of impact so I don't have to adjust the scope at all pretty nice um, let's see what can I tell you about this little air gun here uh, it's built rock solid uh, this incorporated rail up here picatinny rail is the most solid um, out of many uh, OEM rails that are available. Um, go figure, it's on a pistol, but it does work well on the carbine. Um, I'm not a big pistol shooter. If I'm gonna shoot pistol, it's probably gonna be with like a CO2 repli replica pistol, um, so I can do some training. This is just a bit too big for me as a pistol, so I'm gonna be shooting it as a carbine. Uh, 17 and a half foot-pounds of energy. It's not bad. Um, I have most of my 22 caliber air rifles tuned to shoot between 20 and 25 foot-pounds of energy in my backyard, and I find that ample, uh, ample trajectory and power out to 50 yards, no problem. So this is shooting a little bit less than 20, which I believe is the field target pistol maximum uh, energy. Don't quote me on that. But uh, yep, low throttle wall through barrel, 
Um, you can get some optional pick rails on top. I decided to put, uh, no surprise, one of my favorite scopes, the Daydal Stalker 10 times magnification scope. I think it complements this really well. I think Steve is using an MTC, uh, at not atomic, uh, some type of tactical with scope with zero eye relief. Um, similar to this, really wide field of view. Um, and oh, I have the uh, Huma modular moderator on the front. I chose to only put one stack on the end because um, this air gun isn't putting out that much power and this does a perfect job of muzzling it for my backyard and keeping it really short and uh, compact. Um, so about 30 shots at 17 foot pounds and uh, this would make a great uh, backyard plinker um, inside the barn pest control and actually the weight and size of this really lends itself to uh, smaller shooters or junior shooters as well so keep that in mind ultra smooth uh, side lever cocking also has a uh, power air restrictor there and uh, there's an optional power wheel on the back here see that for the carbine which is just like the one for the pistol just for the carbine so um, yep let's see we have got plenty of air in there and uh, <laughs> okay well ironically the camera shut off because it got too hot so I took it inside and put it in the refrigerator for a few minutes. Gave me a chance to cool down, and now we're back. Uh, where did I leave off? I think Steve shot his groups at 25 and 50 yards. So I am here at about 40 yards. Um, I'm under a tent sunshade today because it is so damn hot in my shooting shed. I can't take it. Uh, so we're shooting it right in the middle, 40 yards. Our target down range we're shooting the first we'll shoot the 15.9 uh, grain Hades then we'll shoot the 15.9 grain jumbo Diabolo exacts uh, day states new or day state Brocox new uh, magazine really nice flip face load them up so you got five pellets in there so let's uh, let's do two five shot groups and uh, see how it goes. <clears throat> Air guns. Okay, safety on. Um, this magazine does not stop when it's done indexing, but it does make a rather metallic sound when it comes to the last pellet. So, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but the single, oh, that was Hades. We, already, we just did the Hades. Uh, the single stack on the end of this Huma moderator is more than enough for a 17 foot pound uh, air gun. So you can get away with a really short moderator on the end or maybe even none at all. Okay, five shots. This is the jumbo exact. Point of impact was a little bit different. It was a bit higher with the uh, jumbo exacts. Um, 
you could speculate that it has a better ballistic coefficient and so it cut through the air better. But uh, either way, we got two pretty nice groups. Let's go check them out. I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but it's got a really nice trigger. I haven't adjusted it at all and um, it's not scary. It's very predictable and uh, feels great on the finger. So here are our two groups. Uh, this was the Hades and this was the 15.9. Um, yeah, I was going for one just one pole, but yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, but it happened. Uh, I've got another idea. All right, let's have some fun. Hello, my friend. Air guns. Last shot. Well, there she is. The Brocock Atomic XR pistol carbine. Yep. Pretty fun. Stop this camera. Holy cow, it is hot. Um that is an ideal uh, use, I think, for this little carbine. Short to mid-range uh, pest control, or uh, maybe off of a bench a little bit further. But uh, let's look at these results again. So, I was shooting at this center target here, uh, squatting one knee down and standing. <sighs> Didn't put too much effort into it. I just wanted to show you um, how much fun it can be. So, hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to check out AEAC's full review and tuning guide to this. And uh, catch you on the flip side.